big fireball. Yes, guys, what's happening? This is episode 37 of the United Front Podcasts, Fulham Roasted. I'm Sam Spanner, <laughs> and I'm with my legendary cousin, Adam Shagham. <laughs> Don't shag me, please. <laughs> How's it going, mate? <laughs> yeah, not bad, mate, not bad. Um, I'm just burnt out, mate, if I'm honest. I've got my holiday. Um from Saturday, so I'm looking forward to that. I've got one more day Sweet. grinding out the parcels. Nice one, mate. Um, Defo. Yeah. Doing the last bit of contraband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, mate, we've got some banter episodes that we've got to do. While you're on holiday, yes. mate, I know you've been like proper yes. up to your eyeballs and and your balls in in work and whatnot. But mate, <laughs> we have got some stuff to be doing. So Definitely. before we continue, I don't know if I want to belch or fart. Hold on, oh fucking but- Ford Capri, mate. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, yes, right. So before we start going fucking balls deep into the banter. I'm going to do yep. a couple of shout outs to some of our mates yeah, on it. YouTube. We've got Sons, Son of Grimnir, who has got a quality yep. channel. He's basically got a good combination of gaming stuff and United content, and we've had some nice interactions. Sweet. So I'm lifting up my beer yep. glass to you, matey. Hold on, actually, I'm just going <laughs> to have a swig as well. So. Swig of beer. Oh. I know, another shout out to old Boom Hour. Across the pond, yes. mate, we better be saving up our yeah. dollars because we've <laughs> been invited to have some fucking pucker ribs, mate, over in, in that part of the world. We are on so, it, mate, definitely. <laughs> mate, talking about meat, so obviously Fulham, we've got the ham theme yep. going on there. So we'll be doing ham. very shortly some footy puns. Ham? <laughs> Can you put ham in that <laughs> pair? <laughs> so we'll be doing some fucked up footy ham, bacon, and pork puns yep. very shortly. Yep. And I've got another shout out to old Johnny Worrell from Withenshaw. So he says pints are on him. So yes. next time we're up in Manchester, we'll be getting yep. some nice cheeky pints with Tommy. And maybe yep. uh, we'll, the Furies will, will join us as well around the table. That would be nice. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so, uh, fucking hell, mate. Um, beating Fulham is a good one, isn't it? Did you yes, shit yourself um, <laughs> at one point? I slightly did. Um, but then, obviously, Pogba pulled out a weldy out his ass, and uh, the rest is history. Yes, mate. But, um, yeah. yeah, I'm happy. You know, we're back up the top of the pile again. Um, yes. Very tight at the top, but uh, I'm happy that we're there. Yeah. Chelsea lost the other night, so that's put more pressure on Lampard, which is amazing. So, yeah. Yes, it is. Fucking. So, we were having a laugh the other night, right? So, People, a lot of trolls have been calling all the Norwegian PE teacher and stuff and at its depth and all that bollocks. Yeah. And uh, hold on. Definitely. Oh, no, fucking hell. Oh, mate, I don't know if I was going to puke there for a second, bring up some <laughs> some acid reflux or belching. Oh, fucking hell. Because I had a fistful of Nobby's nuts before. <laughs> David, oh, mate. Oh, fucking hell. So I don't know what I was saying. Fucking refresh my memory. I had a fucking brain fart. Oh dear, oh dear! About um, chatting the other night about PE teacher yeah. Ollie being a PE teacher. Yeah, fucking lamps, mate. Yeah, he couldn't even pass his fucking PGCE to be a, a qualified teacher, you know. So, <laughs> wait, he's like, sh- he's like fucking shit street without a paddle, you know. They've already um, so shit street. They've already got people shit, shit creek. Oh, yeah, 
Uh, there's already people linked to his job. Um, so he, he is literally about to enter the scrap heap of management. So there's... Um, I've, I've, I've heard that yeah. maybe old Ranieri or even Gianluca Vialli might be in line. <laughs> Are they that desperate? I don't know. Or they could always go for a bit of Shalom Avram. Avram, Shalom. Yep. Fucking hell, mate. Oh, dear, dear. So, um, mate... I was going to go back to the old ribs thing, yeah? So, you know, we yeah. love meat and all that. And uh, yep. we love a good old food challenge and stuff. So, um, yep. obviously, Boomhauer's from the uh, Houston area, I believe. Well, yes. last episode, I was talking about that tip from um, Kent, my old flatmate from uni, Chris, the one who thought yep. who asked if we could put uh, apple in an omelette. Well, <laughs> back in the day before what, WhatsApp and everything. Yeah. Oh, fucking there we are, mate. Matey. Oh, bloody hell. Fucking peanut here, mate. So <laughs> back in the day, we were in one of these group chats on MSN Messenger. And the oh, twat sure. only went and wrote, fucking hell, I've just lost an assignment. And he'd written like a good 2,000 words or something. And he's like, haven't yeah. saved it. But before he wrote that, he wanted to write, Houston, I've got a problem. And the tip yep. wrote, instead of Houston, like the place in America, he wrote Houston, yeah. <laughs> like the station in <laughs> London. <laughs> so like, Brilliant. Yes, mate, Houston, you Excellent. do have Fucking problem. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, fucking hell. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just going to have a swig of more beer. <laughs> Bear with me a second. Yeah, you back? I oh, am. Yeah, fucking hell, I just had a good old sip of... I'm on the old special brew tonight, mate, because it's Thursday. Nice. So... Nice. Yeah. I'm going to have a wind down Friday... And uh, take it easy yep. at work tomorrow. Just whack on some good old documentaries <laughs> for the kids so they can just take yep. it easy. So, puns, Definitely. mate. Fucking hell. Puns. Porky right. puns, got... bacon. But <laughs> I'm just going to say something, right? Yeah. To, to the listeners, I know we've made listeners' ears bleed and we have received in the yep. past some abuse. And. Yep. Mate, I don't mind a bit of abuse, really. And uh, <laughs> yep. But no, they've just fucked off. But all right, we ain't going to be taking the piss out of the club we love, but we're going to be having a no. bit of fun. So we're going to try and turn yep. past and present United players into footy yep. puns related to the Porky Pigs and stuff like that. So yep. should we take it in turns, mate? See what we, we will, can come we up will with. Yeah? Before we start, yeah, I have one that is not is non United based, but I think you're going to enjoy this okay. one. Right before we start with the United ones, okay. Yeah. Ready? <clears throat> oh, yes, mate. Hit me. Balls. <laughs> Morton Gammon Pedestrian. <laughs> <laughs> mate, fucking gamst. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, gammon. Mate, that was brilliant. Do you remember yeah. fucking? <laughs> Are you sure it's Pedersen? Mate, it's Pedersen. Pedersen, not Pedersen. Yeah, Pedersen. <laughs> Alan Geary. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Nice. Mate, it was it was someone we always used to try try to sign on old um, footy manager. Fucking back in the day, like fifteen years ago. Yeah, yeah, he, he was a quality play player, really, didn't he? That's it. Yeah, yeah. it was all right. Yeah, he, he was, was pretty good, solid player. Yeah, mate. But I thought apparently, I'd old um, start that one off. Old guard, the other Norwegian bloke yep. who's playing at Real Madrid. He's yep. a bit disillusioned with life, and I think he's going on the loan list again because he spent a couple of seasons at Real Sociedad. 
yes. and they're up shit creek. They haven't won since November. So rumour is yeah. over in this part of the world that Seville want him. But I think it could be yeah. actually a cheeky sign-in for the right wing. I know he plays down the middle, but he's yeah. also played on the right as well. So, Yeah, I think um, anyway, Arsenal have been linked with him as well, but I don't know how much truth there is behind that. But... Arseholes. Yeah. yeah. Fucking arseholes, mate. All right. Okay. I've got a bacon foot, foot pun for you. So, <laughs> clearing the, the throat. Marcus Bacon <laughs> Rashford. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, mate. Keep, let's keep him going. Let's go on a roll. Donny van der Back Bacon. <laughs> oh, sweet. Mate, I had written down <laughs> Donny Bacon's... Donny van der Bacon's Sarney. <laughs> <laughs> Quality. Oh, mate, I do love a bit of baked bacon. Mate, how good yep. is fucking bacon? You can just put it on anything. Definitely. I mean, apart from your, I ain't even, apart from your I ain't penis, because you get blisters. <laughs> I, <ain't laughs> I tried that, mate. What was it in our old... Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't remember what it was. Um, oh, I can't remember what, what film it was, where he gets out of the old packet ham. And he and he whacks himself off holding the old sliced ham or something. Oh, that was the in between us, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Yes, mate. Well done. <laughs> oh, fucking I brilliant! On a snorkel and an American baseball hat. <laughs> um, come on with a pack of ham. <laughs> oh, mate, that was so funny. And um, mate, what is with? Fucking packeted ham. When you open it, I'm talking about proper sliced basic sandwich ham. Yeah. Fucking yeah. smells like ass, mate. For the first like fifteen oh, seconds. I, I have a I have a um come to a conclusion on that. They pay someone to fart in every packet. <laughs> <laughs> Big fucking porky pig, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I've got another one for you. <laughs> Ready? Instead of Paul Go Pogba, <laughs> Paul Pigba. <laughs> Paul P- I don't again. know if you got that. <laughs> instead of Say that again, Paul, Paul Pogba. <laughs> instead of Paul yep. Pogba. Pork, p- pork Pigba. Yep. <laughs> Equality. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Right, here we go. Here's another one for you. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is a new signing. Facundo Porchestri. <laughs> but we've actually talked about him saying in the past how he sounds like it could be from some kind of sliced meat. <laughs> exactly. I'd like a palestri sandwich, please, with extra cheese yeah. and sauce or something like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pastrami yeah. so so an old school 90s right back for United <laughs> yep Paul Porker nice well done instead of Paul Paul Parker <laughs> sorry let me have a swig of beer mate go for it oh, I've, I've got to make sure I don't spray the extractor fan in the kitchen alright your turn mate <laughs> <clears throat> Legendary centre midfielder, G Song Pork. <laughs> that is good, mate. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, all right. The Iceman. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Victor Crackling Lindelof. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Mate, we are stupid as fuck, you do realise. We're 35 each. And you just cannot like, dilute the... You cannot dilute the immaturity. There's something wrong with the family yeah. genes, mate. Fuck it all. You've got to have a laugh. <laughs> all right, Definitely. what's your next one? <clears throat> another another recent signing from la- la- this time last year. Bruno 
Yeah. Hamandez. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good, mate. <laughs> what about this one? An even more recent signing. <laughs> yeah. Edison Carvery. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> right. Keep I've got another one for you, ready? Yeah. Right. Another le- legend another legendary centre forward. Robin Van Pigy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, mate. <laughs> then mate, one of our surprising players that sort of uh, very informed at the minute, we've slated him and so have like, yep. the whole fan base, including Stephen House. And some say he's yep. got an agenda against him, but I don't think he's got an agenda, but he just wants him to pull his fucking weight. <clears throat> Who am I talking about, mate? Have a guess. Um, back. Oh. Yeah, oh, Luke Shaw. Yep, instead of Luke Shaw... Luke Bohr. <laughs> Hammy. <laughs> right, I've got another. It's another one for you. Another, yeah. le- another legendary um, forward. Maybe not for us, but for his club after us. Diego Forham. Yeah. <laughs> that is fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good job you didn't say Diego Foreskin. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> right, okay. I've got one that is ridiculously stupid. Okay, just give me Go a second. Yep. Right. Here we go. Ravel yep. Morrison's Deli Counter. <laughs> it sounds like something you find in a picturesque village. <laughs> oh, mate. So let me just, just set things straight, right? So I'm trying yep. to think. Morrison's, I think, belonged yep. to an American supermarket company, which was called Safeways. Now, when I was a little kid, obviously, yep. you remember I lived over in Vancouver. And we yes. used to go shopping in Safeway. And I think that yep. that American company um, bought out Morrison's, but they decided to keep Morrison's going. So just yes. letting the international fan base know a little bit about that. No. So keep them coming, mate. Yeah, that's it. Right, this one's a bit of pretty standard. Um, there, there's not much yeah. play on words here. Bastian Schweinsteiger. <laughs> nice. Very good. Now, swine <laughs> I th- means swine in German. And uh, Steiger, mate, isn't that some kind of abattoir thing or something? Like where they slaughter the pigs? I think so, yeah. I think it's something like that. Yeah. Did you do ger- yep. German at school or did you end up doing French? I can't remember. I, I, I did. I, I did German. Um, can't remember yeah, much of it. But... I think it was... So it was your sister that did French in back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. I, uh, I think so. You should have to confirm that. I honestly can't remember, mate. You know, I, I don't know what the fuck I okay. did yesterday. <laughs> uh, right, get this one. It's a little bit um, yep. festive. Instead of yep. Ryan Giggs, Ryan Pigs and Blankets. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> right, are you ready for this one? Right, yes, this, this one is this one is from left field, mate. This is this is proper. It took me a while to work, you know, work on this one. Think old, okay. think like cl- class of ninety two that era. Right. Philip Portcroy instead of Philip Mal- instead of Philip Malroy. Or Mulroy, Philip Porkroy. Oh, fuck. That is fucking legendary, mate. Oh, mate, we used to sign him on. Fucking, that is brilliant, mate. I'm actually impressed. Mate, I'm I'm actually (laughs) proper impressed. I'm in awe right now. (laughs) Fucking deserve deserve a a pork medal for that one. I've got another class of 92 for you one, so... 
over on the opposite flank. David yep. David Beckham and Cheese Melt. <laughs> nice. Right, this is my final Mate, one. The two, the... Right, right. Okay. Right. Another legendary forward that we brought in on loan. <clears throat> yeah. Henrik Bacon Lardens. Instead of Henrik Larson. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is good, mate. That is good. All right, I've got a few more. So, another forward. Yep. Um, yep. Treble winner. <clears throat> Dwight Pork Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of jelly. And then I've got a couple of goalkeepers, mate. Both have won yep. the Champions League. We've got... Yep. Uh, Peter Peter Swinecall. <laughs> <laughs> and given that pigs, obviously, like us, mate, have got something wrong with their ass, we've got the legendary yep. Edwin Van <laughs> sorry Edwin Vandershot. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, beautiful. <laughs> Okay, excellent, mate. <laughs> we need we, we need a stadium. So instead of Old Trafford, we've got Old Trot, Trotford. <laughs> yes, yes. And finally, mate, the legendary manager that is, and mate, you know, you yep. there are so many good things that complement a proper roast ham and stuff, or if you get a hot roast pork sandwich. Now I've got one for you, mate. Right. Give me a second. <sighs> Operatic, mate. Here we go. The manager, Ollie Gunner, apple sauce jar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. So... But you got to love a bit of apple sauce with the crackling and, and the stuffing and everything. Yes, yes, mate, definitely. So, to all the legendary listeners, mate, please just uh, come up with any stupid porky puns in the comments. All right, let's see what else we can come yeah. up with. So, moving definitely. on from moving on from the pork, now it's time to talk yeah. about how your balls have improved and how you're improving. Life by purchasing what, mate? The ma- uh, I, I went on Manscape and I purchased. Um, oh, what's it? I can't remember the title of it. The package. I can't remember what it's called now. But I bought the lot. Oh, fuck. I got serious discounts, mate. Serious discounts. So, okay. I How? What discounts out, did you use apart from House and what was it? House and Twenty. And you got another one as well, right? Yeah, they, yeah. They were doing a. I'm guessing it's a New Year sale. So I had, I swear it was something like fifty eight percent off to start off with, and then obviously yeah. you've got another twenty percent by using um, the code that um, the paddock were advertising the other day. So I ended up like yeah, with near enough like eighty percent discount. Okay. No, that's fucking brilliant, yeah. mate. So you got yourself to oh, full by me, and yeah, uh, and then now, fucking mate, you're moving forward in life. One, you'll be getting rid of your scrote rot. Two, <laughs> maybe you miss. Two, maybe you miss. This will, will let will, will let you do a bit of tea bagging. <laughs> that's it. Definitely, that, that's the oh, plan. dear. dear. <laughs> yes, okay. Mate, Valentine's Day is coming up soon. So just giving you an idea, Definitely. mate. <laughs> yep, that's it. Definitely. <laughs> Sorry, I've just come up with something. Roses are red, violets are blue. Here come my bollocks and swallow them too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so fucking. Oh, <laughs> mate, that was that was pure freestyle, mate. Improvisation to the max. That was stats, mate. Definitely. Hit that. me with some stats and the balls. Have you got <laughs> stats any stats and the balls? Um, 
Hang on. Yes. <clears throat> so, in regard to last night, um, in regards to uh, key passes, um, believe it or not, um, sorry, Tottenham did you just Maguire, say key passes? Key passes, key passes. <laughs> <laughs> Whose ass are you been keeping, mate? Well, this, this is it. That, that's a, that's an answer for another day. But um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Pogba, Pogba and Maguire had very good, um, you know, uh, pass percentages as well <sighs> uh, as did uh, yeah. the caretaker. You know, they were all between yes. 85 Eric and 95 for any new percent. listeners. Yes. Um, yeah, I should have said that. But, um, yeah, he was taking care of business. Um, yes, as he does. You know, like, you t- talking about passing um, as a team, nearly 550 yeah. accurate passes, mate. That is, you would never have got that in the uh, Marino era. No, Mourinho, right? And even fucking Louis van Gaal, right? Two fucking yep. major criticisms of both guys, right? Is one, yep. we barely would have shots during the fucking match. Yep. Two, when you were playing away from home, you set the team up to go away and just take a point, you know? Yep. Fucking Ollie, yep. mate, you're expecting minimum 12 to 15 plus shots per match, minimum, yep. well, you know? So, yeah, 15 last, 15 last night. Yeah, there you um, go, mate. And Cavani, mate, fucking brilliant yeah. stat. So he's just set himself a new record. First United played to score four Premier League goals away from home. Yep. Which and um, very, they very did good. say um, his uh, total career goals um, last night is at 409, something like that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But, so, you know, he's... You know, he's, he's yeah, still banging them in. It's good. Yes. And then, uh, you know, another brilliant thing, right? 17 games unbeaten away from home. So it's just like the yes. treble winning season, isn't it, mate? Yes, I believe it is. Um, it's it's quite good to uh, to see that. Um, you know, the, obviously, you still can't compare squads uh, for obvious reasons however it's good to see that there is some kind of steady form where, albeit oh, away course. from home I mean but, proper numerical progress and just like yeah. visual progress as well you know yeah it's like so um, a lot of these trolls have uh, fucked off they've gone back to the caves yes mate definitely but like they were saying on the um before the game last night, um, in regards to, no, sorry, after the game, they were saying about the uh, points up to this point last year, we'd only had something like 26 points, yeah. something like that, and we're now on 40. So that just says it all, really. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's, it's good. I mean, it's, um, I mean if, the, if they're only neutrals, you've got to just think, fucking hell, the Premier League, mate, is just so competitive. It's ridiculous. Even at the bottom, yeah. you know. I mean, apart from Sheffield United, you know, they're yeah. down in the fucking toilet this season. But there's so yeah. much competition right up at the top. We fucking had to leapfrog two teams last night, so you know it's brilliant, yeah. you know, because well, any, anything anybody can between, this season. You know, believe it or not, anybody between <laughs> seventh and first at the moment, you know, because you've got West Ham and Everton on 32 points, then Spurs. The Bin Dippers yeah. on 34, Leicester, yeah. Man City, and then us. Um, and yeah. by the way, uh, it's going for the Bin Dippers tonight. They're having a tough time against Burnley by the looks of things. They're still nil nil. Oh, Sweet. no, Burnley have just scored. Burnley have just scored a penalty. What are you saying? What's Burnley have score, just mate? scored a penalty. 1 0 to Burnley. Yeah, but what's the score? Fucking hell, are Burnley going to go and break 
the Bindipa's home, the home record, record of like 64, ma- 64 matches unbeaten uh-huh. run at home at Anfield. It's the 83rd minute penalty. Oh, mate. So, hang on. Fucking. Yeah. Come on, Burnley. I actually, Barnes scored a penalty. Yes, so that'd be. If that's the case, mate. then that's going to be amazing. Because then it's quite funny, right? I'm going to say it here right now that all the Liverpool fans have just disappeared off of social media. It's all gone quiet that's in brilliant. the. Um, from the Liverpool camp, and, it, and it's beautiful. Mate. And I think also because you know, of the they, old, like, panic buying in the UK, they've just sold out of Carlsberg, yeah. and they're just, like, fucking panicking like fuck, you know? Yep, this is it. You know, um, the, I think I said it, um, uh, well, I, I can't remember how many episodes ago I said it, but... Um, I said that there's no way that Liverpool will lift the trophy this season. They're not going to be able to do back-to-back premiers. Um, no, definitely. definitely um, and they've totally come, totally come off the boil, mate. Um, you know, it's, uh, that's good shit. He's um, so I, I'm going to say this right. We've yeah. hit the 30 minute mark or 31 minute. And yep. if you've got any special praise to any of the players against Fulham. Yep. Or full ham that yep. have been roasted. <laughs> Who would they be? And let us know. I'm going to... Oh. Right. Pogba, you know, I slated the shit out of him at the beginning of the season. And I still stand by those comments because I'm not going to be one of these that go, oh, yeah, yeah you know, uh, you know, I stand by what I said. He was playing shite. Yeah, me too. Somewhere down the line, him and uh, Bruno have clicked. Um, and last night showed that. Um, Bruno, yep, I agree. You know, hit the boys knackered. You can see that. Um, but mm-hmm. and you can and his first touch is not not being good. So there was a little bit of criticism for Bruno last night, but he did yeah. sting the um, the hands of Ariola. What a name! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> don't ask me to translate. I do know quite a few languages, but I don't know what the fuck that means. Yeah, but um, uh, there's, uh, you know, he he stung the hand of him a couple of times with a couple of long range efforts. Um, you yeah. know, Luke Shaw again was on on, on form. Um, yeah, he was, mate. He, my, looked, he looked good. I know he got nutmegged a few times, but it doesn't matter. You made yeah, up for it. Yeah, no. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. Now, a bit of criticism, and it, it's it, it's a long time coming, but Tony Marshall, I don't know what the hell's going on with that boy at the moment, but he is walking a very, very slippery slope. Um, okay. He, I do, I do I just, rate him, but I think it's it's his love tank, mate. He's been I hope, I knocked hope off the right. perch a little bit. He's been shifted out to the left, but once he's, yeah. I think if we pr- play the triple M when Tony's down the middle, I think we're going to see. You know, he'll get his confidence back and feel a bit more sort of um, right got a, protagonist got a in a positive sense. You know. Yes, mate. Yep. No, I won't. I won't, I won't let you teabag me. <laughs> I'm going to keep playing the long game on that one. That will happen one day. No, not really. But um... <laughs> <laughs> maybe after my brother's stag do when we're all fucking pissed as buttes. <laughs> That's it. But yeah, the question is: Would have Tony put away the goal that Cavani scored last night? Yeah, I think he would have, mate. I, I think that he's he would have not been, so you, in a dark place. So Tony like would have been in that. So Tony would have been in that in that position where Cavani was last night. Yeah, I mean, I think he would have been, mate. I'm gonna I'm gonna defend him to a certain extent, and I'm gonna say, look, 
morale wise he's not in a dark place like he was after he'd just come back from his suspension you know from getting red carded against Spurs and I think yeah. he's done alright he got he did a brilliant season last year you know he got bags bags full of goals and stuff but I just think that um, yeah. what's affected his morale is how he's having to readapt to being sort of a left winger and not a centre forward yeah and um, he was last season. You know, we saw some really sort of uh, original play between him and, and Rashford, chopping and changing. You know, intertwining between them, which was really interesting. And he's not a natural number nine, yeah. and I cannot see no. him as a proper left winger either. It's a little bit same sort of thing with Mason, mate. Mason isn't a proper right yeah. winger, and he's not an original number nine. No. But still, I think Mason should be nurtured down the middle. And Tony should be played down the middle. But we've got yeah. Edison Carvery, who is doing fucking well. <laughs> so <laughs> Yes, right. Yes. And I'm not I'm not down the, the, downbeat at all. We're getting no. the three points, yeah. that's okay. what's important, you know. Fair enough. But so I think we've got to just quickly say Ka- this. Cavani. Yeah. 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 You know, he he just doesn't stop running, does he? No, it's, it's brilliant. You know, he's proper up for it, and that sort of rubs onto the other players. Yep. And uh, I was impressed with Spider Wan Bissaka. He fucked up with his positioning, yep. partly to blame for the first goal. But, mate, yep. he's whipping in a lot of balls recently. And I know that he was back in the day a winger at youth level. So he yep. just needs that extra bit of confidence to. <sighs> Bloody hell, mate. Oh. <laughs> Reflux. Oh, fucking hell, I could have crossed in a ball with that belt, you know. No, he's, he's doing some good balls, you know, from the wing. So I yeah. think, you know, he's he's up for it, which is good. And Fred, mate, yeah. I think I want to give him a little bit of a shout out because I thought he was a yeah. proper battler. Like was, the weight on his passes, was. Yeah. putting the balls left and right. Yep. Yeah. And, mate, he's a proper battler as well when he's on the floor. Oh, yeah. Fucking, he's, he goes for it, you know? <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. He's got a low That's center it. of gravity, up and down like a yo-yo, and he loves a scrap. So, yep. it's brilliant. Yep. Well, it. It's so, definitely, I'll agree with you there. And, I don't and, know uh, I'm yeah. just going to say, um, with uh, the caretaker, he was fighting everyone again last night. And... Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> proper going in hard and stuff and kicking at heels, which is good to see. Yeah, he's good. very fucking impressive, mate. Have you got any closing yeah. words, mate? We've celebrated the Fulham win with a very porky yep. style. So what do you want to say, mate? Yep. I, am, I am saying that it's... Well, hang on. I'm not going to say anything just yet. Hang on. Fuck you now. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, oh, hang on. What the fuck's going on? Hang on. My, <laughs> what are you doing, mate? My, my, my trying app? to find your willy? Yeah, pretty much. I haven't got a fucking telescope out. <laughs> well, it's now the 90, 93rd <laughs> minute. And... 93rd minute and Burnley is still 1-0 up. Oh, my God, mate. So that, look, mate, so that looks got like... Drag, we'll be dragging this out to the final whistle. We're dragging it out, yeah, mate. We were, Fucking dragging it out. We're, we're going to... I'm trying to find how long on the commentary is saying about additional minutes, but it hasn't said... Oh, my God. Oh. This is fucking intense. It is. Hang on. Come on. Oh, fucking hell, I was doing kick-ups with my belches there. Hang on, there's four minutes of added time, and they're now into the... And it's Burnley... Uh, hang on. Burnley are nearly close to winning for the first time at Anfield in 46 years. Oh, my God. Hang it on. has to be done. Come on. Come on, fucking Sean Dick. <laughs> Sean Dick? Come on. Bloody hell, this is the intensity. My dick, my dick. 
<laughs> Mate, what was that from? Lunatics. Yes. Fucking shout out to old uh, Chris Lilly. Have they done it? Yeah. No, no, it's still, it's still, oh, yes, hang on, no, it's still playing. No, oh, no. Fucking hell, mate. Fucking, 95 minutes, what referee have they got going on here? It seems a bit dodgy. Bloody hell, you're going to give me a panic attack. It's not fucking um, Friend again, is it? What's his name? Probably. Friend? No, friend, when, what yeah, referee they got? Uh, my fucking enemy. Mike, Mike Dean. Oh, fuck me, it's Mike Dean. So he's going to probably play until they score an equaliser, aren't they? Fucking Mike Dean, Mike. more like a fucking jelly bean, mate. Mike Dean is a complete knobhead. Fucking Torvald and Dean. Oh, come on. Come on, you cunts. <laughs> come on. What's going on? Uh, is there a delay on the app or. Come on. Or, or someone's like being airlifted out of Anfield. Probably won't be a Burnley player. Yeah. They will stand their ground pretty well. Oh, mate. So, what was it? Um, recommendation for yes, the TV show time. is Lunatics by time. Chris Lilly. Oh, let's fucking have it. Oh, yeah. that is Hats fucking off to crazy. Burnley there. <sighs> Result. Fucking, fucking yeah. paste, mate. Fucking bean fucking. dippers have been fucking Action. pasted. And to top it off, I've got Nick Pope in goal on my fantasy football get in, and he's kept a clean sheet. Oh, mate, what a legend. Right. Proper, All right. Proper, on that proper note, graduate, mate. Yes, on mate. On that note, over and out from me, mate. I'm happy with that. And on <laughs> that note, fucking Jurgen Klopp is a fucking cunt, mate. <laughs> Over there for me, speak to your lady, you chronic fucking masturbated. <laughs>